Five minutes till places, guys. I can't promise a very beautiful handstand. Let's hug here and maybe others will join us. Draw on in to our field of gravity. <laughs> it is. It's a good way to warm up. We get in on this. Come on, everyone, move in on this. I, everybody but Greg, because Greg's Joe writing just can't something. Take it. <laughs> Much longer. I'm holding men, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your hat! And Yay! Break. Like Anyone else missing out on the hug here? I stayed away from snakes first. Anyone can have it. Okay. Oh, okay. We're gonna make it. It's gonna be awesome. Okay. All right. Tons of energy. Is that everybody? <laughs> Count to three, two, one, break. Woohoo! The the idea of the circus <laughs> it, it's very romantic, and unfortunately, it's not necessarily like that in real life. <laughs> But yeah, the idea of being in a circus, a traveling circus, to me, um, uh, bringing, bringing, having a purpose for travel, bringing your work to someone, but having it, it's not, at that point, it's not about your work, it's about um, the interaction that you uh, enable with, with whoever, you know, you bring this thing and you're, um, as opposed to being a drunk hitchhiker, like back, you know, when I did that was, uh, I get to bring something to these places and uh, then they respond and it's a, just a great medium for human interaction. What's going on here? We have it. Nothing apparently. Yeah, I think it's fun. <laughs> I think we should take it. Music. We gotta return the cart. Yeah, we'll return the cart. This may be here, set it where it was. Where are we going? We're going this way, right? We're pushing or we're going this way? I don't know. Pushing and turning. We need uh, someone to call out turning. Where's my water bottle? Yeah, and you push that way. Now go to your left. Left? Yeah. You go down this aisle, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we need another dude back here. We're going to be pushing down on it, you know? Do your left here. My plan is to prime everything metal and then again anything that's still wood red so that the next time all the metal could be done black and then taped off and do the red real nice so those good lines. It's really not a whole lot, just priming and covering. Screams, spiral walls, geologic trails by the stars. 
it means to us is that we view ourselves essentially as American gypsies. And this is, I want to be doing this all the time. If I could be, if I could not have a home and I could travel all the time doing, making art and traveling around and bringing the circus and going into different communities and doing that, I'd be doing it. We are part of this meta community that went kind of all down the coast, and I'm sure it extends all around the world. It was like these, it's like this traveling, performing, weird people who don't have jobs. We're not the most highly skilled musicians. We're not the most highly skilled circus performers, um, comedians, whatever. It's 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 something else. I mean, it's a group thing, it's something that we're, we're creating as a group. I am now technically a probational member. I started my probationary membership a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I, I, I consider the circus my family. Um, in some cases, uh, a chosen family is, is it's a greater thing than a family. Family. You know how like kids like dream of running away from right, the, the circus? Right, to go between the circus. I dream of running away from the circus. <laughs> <laughs> The entire circus is sleeping here tonight. Mm. There'll be no one allowed at home so that we can leave bright and early. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Meatlanders over time. What? And Avalonians. Step right up and welcome to this great show we call life. That's right, your life. A chance to fulfill all your wildest dreams and participate in the great spectacle um, of being uh, alive. not always smooth sailing. I mean, you know, numerous times from the beginning, I, you know, I would sit around every once in a while and go, oh yeah, man, this is all falling apart any day now. Sometimes I just feel like, you know, ready to just pitch in the towel and give it all up and, you know, go on some other path and, you know, pursue some other dream. 
you know, there are some things that we, as a couple, have, have had to sacrifice to for the circus too. I mean, there are other things we did together before the circus. You know, we did some scuba diving together, and we did hiking and camping together, and things like that. And and a lot of that has taken a back seat to the circus. Um, but uh, and that can be a little bit of a source of frustration sometimes. It's like, boy, I wish we had a time, you know, just schedule a weekend to go and do some something, something else. But but um, that's also our choice. Yeah, that's too. our I mean, choice. Not, and that's our, our. We haven't sold our souls no. to the circus, but right now it's just yeah. that's where the fun is, you know. To the grass and the trash? Yeah. <laughs> no, they just over. So what are you guys going to be doing? Circus. We are unique. Uh, there are lots of small circuses out there that have great bands or great people playing live music behind them. But because we have a six to ten piece band that's sort of bordering on an orchestra, and because it's so integral to what we do, it, it it's sort of this hybrid between like music performance and variety arts vaudeville cabaret etc and i feel like we have these disparate acts that are kind of coming together on their own but seeing it as a collect as a show is i'm having a hard time we all feel like uh, you know we're kind of floating uh, and we just need a little bit um of a uh, a tighter net to keep things feeling uh, safe and strong, um, and I doubt uh, the ability of the group to um, to be disciplined in that way. It just is, requires just superhuman um, amount of energy, and I don't know. Well, circus why you can. Oh, okay. We've got a grand disaster plan. It's sure to stimulate your glands. So pop your pooper in the stands. <laughs> I step inside a circus tent. You wonder where your money went. You want to see the circus dream? Step inside and take a peek. Without. No, 
crew may find way up to that. Well, it could really be much worse. <laughs> Terry said it happened to him too. He could not get it out of gear at all, and that just happened to me. Yeah, and that's not, and that's, we can't do that. It would take, same here, that's exactly what happened to me. So what, you know what I did though? Is I uh, let out the clutch a bit and let the, let it move forward, and then it shifts the transmission and then it can come out of gear. Right, right, but you know, two or three of those and that could be the end of this transition. Get up to speed quick, we won't have to hardly go any distance. Yeah, put in third, they work yeah. real good. You know? Yeah, every single person we got, push it kind of hard and fast, make it... got uh, 10 miles out of Sacramento and I'm in the I'm riding shotgun on the bus and I get a call from Sari hey Colin can you guys slow down the truck's not really keeping up so we're like okay so we slow down and like three minutes later hey guys the truck's blowing up <laughs> like I was just losing power and then suddenly it started not quite backfire but like misfire I have, like heartbeats being skipped and it got worse and worse, and it was like sputtering and dying. And so we pull over to the rest stop, and uh, we call a tow truck, and we have it towed someplace in Sacramento. And uh, they charged us like 500 bucks to tell us that two pistons were blown, and it was totally shot. So the truck was dead, completely dead. We, it, we figured out it would have been cheaper for us to take taxis from Seattle, actually. I don't know if any of y'all heard, but right before we uh, left tour, we spent 4500 bucks and bought this great big truck for all our stuff. It's from the government. We should have known. <laughs> and outside of Sacramento, it blew up. 
Uh, we were in real danger of not being able to continue our tour because of this truck thing, and we still have to figure it out. We, at this point, really don't know what we're going to do. But uh, I know that you've given graciously to come here, but after this next number, we're going to come out with our hats off and our hats out. And please give and give generously to us so we can continue this tour. foot truck for 1300 a month nice five cents a mile I figured out the mileage at 6,000 miles which is pretty liberal another 300 bucks so it's reserved to pick up um, one thing before we all bust the move and let's just pat ourselves on the back man we came yeah. here and we did really good when we okay. didn't weren't sure what was up and we made a lot more money than we thought we were gonna do today being Monday being payday uh, I think that um, I don't have the exact numbers for the weekend, but I, I think that they were we're renting a truck. They're well within what we. I think we should get paid. Yes. The money is not even comparable. I mean, I make more. I would make more money in three weeks than or a month than I probably have made all year with the circus. <laughs> It's just sad but true. You know, like three years ago, I never would have imagined that we'd own a bus and, you know, be able to just go on tour and have it work and support the whole thing and make money on top of that. You know, I don't know that we'll ever make any money, you know, or ever make enough to survive on. And, and you know, I go round and round. I've gone full circle with that at one point. One, it, you know, quit my job and go play accordion, starving in the street and watching one quarter at a time, you know, praying I'll make enough to eat. And, um, and, then, I, and then I go to the other thing, which is just keep a job and, and not have so much pressure placed on your work, because ultimately the work is what's most important.
Don't even go there. Don't even go there. Because that has absolutely nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. I have an opinion on this. Don't go where. Well, Don't go that, that the reason I'm saying everyone I'm not worried. talk and chime yeah. in and do things like I don't think it's any secret that um, David and Laura were are the co-founders of the circus and uh, you know a, a driving element of the whole thing. Um, they recently decided to be apart from each other and I'm a little concerned that that might uh, throw a monkey wrench into the works. Jealousy about this no, radio situation. About There's a lot more subtext to it. Well, you know, the I, last I think that you might, you might give me the I benefit know. of the doubt that I'm not a super fucking insecure person about this stuff. But you're hypersensitive, like so I'm not sensitive that he's being positive Greg, about that. You know, Greg, just Greg, you know. I'm telling you that I felt okay. from David insincerity right. and patronizing. Okay. All right, well, and I, I have more history that. and more right. experience with that. I will than David, respect that. And it's okay. different. Our relationship is different than your relationship is. Well, your relationship just fucked my show. Well, I'm sorry, yeah. Greg. I'm yeah. telling you, I'm sorry. I think I know what you're thinking. Oh, that's why I took to you. Okay. It's about transparency. It's about not being manipulated. It's about right. Right. not having David think that he's putting one over on you, even when he's not necessarily conscious of it. I'm, I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm about ready for some vittles of some kind. Yeah, I'm ready to take a nap. Okay. Take a little nap. But that's no. the, maybe at the root of it. Yeah. It's the topic. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's the topic. I mean, shit, you know? It, it's amazing that we've had, you know, as much peace as we have considering where we're at with the internal soap opera. And Laura and I, it's been, working together has been both great and difficult at times because for five years of five years of our relationship together and four years of the circus, we were a couple. We were partnered, um, which changed about six months ago. And so with that, you know, you're living with someone, you're partners with someone, you're working together, and the circus is in your fucking house. Because, you know, for the first, you know, when, when Circus and Ramps started out, started out early, early, little larva, it was, you know, us at this house we lived in in Ballard with, uh, you know, a hole I'd knocked in the eight-foot ceiling and a trapeze hanging in the middle of the living room. And then we moved to a loft in Fremont, and the circus was there. I mean, we moved to this loft to have the circus there, and we practiced in the parking lot, and the band was in the loft space. So we never, ever got away from it. And it was always, always what we did and what we were about, and generally that was really good. It's really hard. I'm sure she hates it. I know she, like... I think she thinks it's cool in a way. Like I think she thinks like it's a neat thing to tell her friends. I think it's cool that she kind of has mixed feelings about performing. I think it's like a cool thing to do, but the actual, you know how it is. Like the image of the thing is different than the actual doing of the thing. I mean that's true for all of us. Um, so that's mixed for her. Uh, yeah, it's it's hard. It's hard to give her enough time. Um, but I also I really. 
Like I grew up with um, parents who didn't do stuff like that really. Like it was much more mellow and I want her to, I want her to have an example that you can kind of do anything that you want. And I think this is a pretty good example of that. <laughs> You know they won't forget it.
you know, at this point, I think the circus can go wherever we want it to go. I have confidence that from the, the way we've grown as artists together and the way we've grown as an organization, that it's almost totally up to us, I feel, that w where the circus goes and, and what it becomes from here in. I honestly do not think that the, the group in its current um, incarnation has what it takes to push it to, to crack the whip. But we're doing, I think, a really pretty damn good job of like, you know, respecting each other and not getting explosive or, or mean. I mean, we were able to, to keep this thing rolling. And I'm sure there will be problems that will arise, but we'll just go along and, and deal with them at, as they come up. And, you know, the thing is, it's like, it really depends on what the problem is that comes up, you know? If it's something like the bus broke down, you know, maybe we can deal with that. Most likely we will and can. Um, but if it's something like, you know, people are leaving the group, and we don't think the group can survive without those people, then, you know, the answer to what will happen in five, ten years can really change. can't go on like this anymore, you know? It's like, if you don't care, if you really don't care, and you're not pulling baby games, if you really don't fucking care, take a walk, because this is a fucking great fucking opportunity if you, if you take it. If you don't want to take it, don't drag everyone else around with you, you know? I I just know that in the past couple of weeks I've heard little little bits and pieces of rumors, I guess they are things changing as in as in people leaving the circus and and just just rumors of unhappiness in the group and 
um, and of course, unhappiness is valid, but I just, I don't know if I'm just the newbie and just super happy about all of this and, or, if, you know, maybe some of you who are older within the group are hopefully not taking it for granted. This is an amazing group of people. It's like everybody has such a great aesthetic sensibility. We come together very well. There are conflicts, of course, and we're definitely seeing that on tour. I just hope everyone is super thankful for having found or and or created this kind of group. If you leave, you know, if anyone is considering leaving this, it's, I don't think it's easy or necessarily even conceivable to ever find or create something as good as we have here. And I really wanted to say that. You're here. <laughs> You're here. Let's sing to the fucking birthday girl. That's right. You're nine, right? <laughs> I'm eight. Happy, Happy fucking, fucking birthday, birthday to you. Happy <laughs> fucking birthday <laughs> to you. Happy fucking birthday, dear Laura. Happy fucking birthday. That's right. More storage space for us. Can I reprogram you? Okay. Well, what would you do? Yeah. 
really bad. Somebody just switch off. All these systems just shut down. They don't seem related at all. No, they don't. Well, should we call someone? It's not. A, it's feels like the compressors just stopped working because it's just like you know, as you use the brakes, it, it dry, uses the air, right. and it's not like. And we can't hear a leak. Air compressor? Yeah. It says 13 87. I do bus repairs. Okay. We don't have a way into town if people want to go to town or if we want to go somewhere where we can stay. What do you mean, a way into town? We're what stranded? <laughs> We're going to sit what out here on the side of the highway? No, they won't tell us with it. It's a hitchhike. I don't think they'll tell it with us in it. 
So we have to take trips with the truck, probably. So I think we either have to take trips with the truck or we go all go in the back of the truck. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we have no problem. We might have to shift some things. We could even, uh, people could bring their pillows so their ass doesn't get squished, crunched, you know, pinched. path I was going down and I didn't want anything to do with it and I don't want anything to do with this with uh, with this work world and this traffic and and you know and people and their money and and you know the, the none, none of that is important to me at all all I want to do is write uh, make good good things and then die you know in some ways you know we have these ideas we have things that we get really excited about and we just go out and do it and who cares if it's not going to happen or if it's impossible you know some people um, get bogged down with thinking well, that's never going to work and so by getting bogged down you don't try you know we just go and do it I didn't really grow up with an alternative lifestyle around me and my parents are um, they're, they're you know they go to work and they're Nine to fivers, and this is this opportunity has given me uh, like a way to see another life. Um, you're entering a world that's totally different and unique from the one you just came out of, and, and as long as you're in the confines of that space, you're in this world, and there's a there's a cornucopia of things to get out of it, whether it's political or entertainment or just bizarre and you know, thought-provoking and just make you laugh. It, it's all there for you, you know, and you take what you want out of it. And it gets you, and when you leave the tent, you, you go back into the world you came from, but you remember this this strange, amazing world that you were in, and you take, you take something of that with you, and, and you look forward to going back there again. They're not going to get in an accident. Test the walkie-talkie. <laughs> Testing walkie-talkie. One, two, three. Little people to mothership. Come in. <laughs> Do you guys have enough room? Everyone have enough yeah. room? Yeah. Is this everybody? Thing to sit on too. Is Jenny in the cab? I think she's going to cheat. Jenny yeah, Cabin. She gets claustrophobic. Jenny oh, right. Cabin? She really can't handle uh, it. rapid deceleration and there's nothing gonna go this way. That thing, uh, that last one, uh, <laughs> is, isn't gonna I'm, squish together. I'm gonna to kill you all off one by one. <laughs> okay, we're parachuting out in the We jungle. can dress up in funny clothes. clothes. We don't even know where we're going, do we? And the no. Strangely. I have no idea. Are we going in the right direction now?
Does this record sound too? Oh yeah. So you can hear my voice? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Finally got my hands on Bill's camera. Boy, I got some exciting footage here. Whoa! <laughs> Boom! I just ran into the bus. <laughs> Is there any... Slow down, Bill! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> This is okay. I was just about to ask you about that. This is so I can be homeless and still type my scripts. Yeah, sure you can. Look at that. Yeah. And it works. I just need a ribbon. Yeah. And look how tiny it is. I can carry yeah. it to the park with me. Yeah. Cool. Look at that. Yeah. It's not even that. Like a businessman. Yeah, look at you. You, you look professional. <laughs> <laughs> You're damn downright respectable. Well, well come on. Oh, well, I got a home. Right, I'll push it. Yeah. Sweet, man. That is awesome, Greg. Got to get rid of everything I own. veterinarian and they only found one ovary at the time of the spay 
and then the cat came back into heat again, which indicated that there was some ovarian tissue still inside the cat. So the lady's veterinarian went back in to look for it and didn't find anything. And that was about a week ago when the cat was in heat, which is the best time to find an ovary in there. So now, um, that's my challenge for the day, <laughs> is to look for this ovary in this cat. So. And she's cute. Okay. Um, I don't think we need them. One tens, two fives. So it's just like a starter kit interface for letting somebody, like say an anatomy student, or this is more for somebody who actually knows what they're building and adding, but so that they could build up scenes of anatomy and interact with them and do, you know, kind of, they don't have a cadaver sitting in front of them that they can, can tear apart, but. Union, University will be next. Seattle Art Museum, Ben and Royal Hall, Department of Licensing, Post Office. Before we do this next number, our friend, compatriot, collaborator, co-conspirator, uh, this is his last weekend, he's moving on to Stranger Things. And we just want to say thank you so much for being there from the start and giving your heart and making some incredible stuff. We love you. Thank you. 